So this is part two, and we're making the GUI. And it's a stupid, simple GUI. So let's try to do this in five minutes or less. So I'm going to make a new project. It's cute widgets. I'm going to call it temp sensor. Skip through that. And I'm going to go with dialog, just because I don't need the stuff with main window. And everything's set up for us. Let's go look at the UI. Okay, so all we need is a label and an LCD number. And then I'm going to put those in a horizontal layout. And I'm actually going to change the dimensions of this dialog. Something like that. Maybe a little shorter actually something like that okay um, uh, let's put the dialog in a grid layout so save that and run it the grid layout is gonna automatically resize it but I might not actually want that I might just put it in a fixed size we'll see yeah I'm gonna go with fixed size I do not like that. No one needs that. That's ridiculous. <laughs> so let's go with fixed size. And I guess I'll actually rename some of these real quick. Temp, label, and we'll call this temp LCD number. And I'll also change the digits. So I'm going to go with 7 uh, so that you can have like maybe two decimal places, the decimal and the uh, negative. So that should be good. And then I'll, I'll also change the colors on it. So go to palette. I already found something I like, but maybe play around with it. So I'm going to change the window text color to blue. And then we'll put light and dark as the same. I'm going to go with something like a Prussian blue for that. Also copy that and use it on the next one. OK looks good so I'm going to call that temperature and also change the formatting on it I'm going to go with bold 24 and let's make it red there we go so hot and cold and what's the dimensions on that? It's 434 by 122. So I'm going to make that a fixed size. And I'll also give it a window title, I guess. Let's call it temp sensor or temperature and try and run that looks pretty good no more resizing but I'll probably change that zero also so let's go UI dot temp LCD number dot display and I gave it seven digits so I'm gonna go one two three four five six seven and it's gonna set the initial display on it to just dashes okay so that's it that's all the GUI here the rest of this is just QC report and 
parsing what we're reading. So let's get to that. <laughs> 